You may be seated. I would invite you to turn in your Bibles to Exodus chapter 20 as we complete our uh, review of the Ten Commandments. We're going to be taking a look tonight, today, at Exodus chapter 20 and verse 17 as we think about the Tenth Commandment. While you're uh, turning to uh, the Tenth Commandment, uh, just a fun fact here. Uh, in Roman Catholic churches, the Tenth Commandment is actually divided into two parts. Uh, as we read it, you'll notice that it speaks of coveting your neighbor's house first, and then uh, coveting other things that your neighbor uh, has, his wife, his male servant, and so on. Uh, they divide it into two commandments, not one. So the Ninth and Tenth Commandments uh, in Roman Catholic uh, ordering are actually the Tenth Commandment to us. Now the reason that they do that, and it doesn't really make much sense because they both deal with coveting those things that the Lord hasn't given uh, to you. Uh, the reason that they do that is because they bring the first and the second commandments together for a rather obvious reason. Uh, the first commandment, as you will recall, deals with having no other gods before me, and the second commandment deals with not making graven images. They bring those together so the idea is that the graven images are only images of other gods, uh, whereas we believe that the second commandment was specifically given to forbid the use of images in the worship of the true God to order our worship. But uh, anybody who has been in a Roman Catholic church knows that they do use images in their worship uh, quite a bit, as a matter of fact. So they divide uh, the 10th commandment and bring the first and uh, second commandments together. And so they still get 10 at the end of the day. Um, interestingly enough, the Lutherans do the same thing, Luther following the Roman Catholic uh, ordering there. But throughout the Christian world, certainly...